I actually love the idea of making a Facebook profile frame, especially if you have an event or a cause, something like a Facebook frame is perfect for that. And whatever your business is, you can probably come up with some kind of an event or a cause. So I think that this is actually a great way to do some free branding on Facebook. And so there's actually a really easy way to develop these, but I'll go ahead and give you the most important points now. You can make a Facebook frame anywhere as long as you make it 1500 by 1500 pixels on a transparent background. You also have to upload it as a PNG file. You upload your frame on Facebook at facebook.com slash frames slash manage. And you can manage these in the frames studio. Once you publish them, they're just out there for people to use. So make sure that you name it something that people can easily find when they do a search for a profile frame. I am making a Facebook profile frame for this nonprofit that I am working with. I'm gonna go into Canva right now and do that, but you could use Photoshop, Pixelmator, PicMonkey, whatever you, whatever it is that you use. Just make sure that it's 1500 by 1500 and a transparent background. Okay, well, as usual, if you are working with Canva, which is free, by the way, you can just do a search for Facebook profile frame and they have some already ready to go for you to work off of. I just wanted to make my own, so this is how I started Started right here with create a blank profile frame. So this was the simple profile frame that I came up with for the event that I am working with. So think of this white space as that's where the picture is. And also something that you want to keep in mind is that the Facebook profile is going to kind of crop this off right about here in a circle because that's how your profile picture is going to be showing up a lot of times. Think of it like you don't want to take up this space over here, this space over here. So what you're going to do when you're done making your Facebook profile frame is download it make sure that it's a PNG and on the transparent background and then download so when you have your artwork all ready to go you can go into the Facebook frames studio you can find that by going to facebook.com slash frames slash manage you'll probably have nothing in here I have the one that I was working with just the other day and so now I'm showing you how to do it so you can click right here where it says open frame studio and this is where you're going to upload your artwork so I'm going to drag my artwork right here for the pumpkin run and it will show you a preview on what it will look like so when it's cut off like how I was talking about in the circular form I want to make sure that I have the entire logo in there the entire hashtag showing up and so you can see what it's going to look like in some different formats so this is what it would look like on your device and as your actual profile picture so your profile picture would be in the gray part and then this frame would be around it of course you can do some simple edits to it right here but if that looks good to you you can hit next you want to create a name for it and you want to make it a name that like if you're doing a, a campaign or an event or working with a nonprofit group like how I am you want to make it something that other people will easily be able to find so I just want to name this one pumpkin run and I'll tell people to search for pumpkin run in their frame so that they could apply it to their profile as well so I want to add pumpkin run to my keywords down here and we'll hit next now you want to be careful because in this stage if you hit publish this frame is just going to be out on Facebook that anybody can use. If I don't want people to use this frame, I need to make sure that I have this perfect before I hit publish because people might be able to use it and I don't want them using the wrong frame. So I am not going to hit publish right now. I'm going to hit save as draft. So at this point, you can still go in and edit your frame. So this is how you add a Facebook profile frame to somebody's Facebook profile. You just hit edit in your Facebook account. You click here to add frame. This is why it is very important to name your frame something that people will remember. So let's say I would like to put a Kansas City Royals frame on my Facebook profile. I would just do a search for Kansas City Royals and I could choose one, add it to my profile picture. This is what the preview would look like. And then you can just click use as profile picture. This might also be a good time before you publish your Facebook profile frame to just do a quick search to see if there's another frame out there named the exact same thing. Thing. So like the one that I am going to be publishing, I'm choosing to name Pumpkin Run. And so this is great because if somebody just types in Pumpkin Run right now, there are no results found. So when somebody does type in Pumpkin Run after I publish it, mine will be the only one there, which is fantastic. If this was helpful information for you, I hope that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That's certainly the best compliment that you could ever give. And you also won't miss my next video. I post twice a week. So I'll see you soon.